Hi there, Richard Snashel here, out on site at the Enlarged Cotter Dam. It's time for a monthly update, so come out with me. I've got my trusty camera, and let's take a look at the latest works happening on the site. We're starting off here at a place I'm going to call Kel's Secret Lookout. Site Superintendent Kel Helmers has found this spot and I think he's keeping it fairly secret but he's going to use it as a location to take out visitors and dignitaries who come out on site to see the works. There's Gary and Ron there and they're looking at Saddle Dam number one which is just getting underway with excavation work. You can see a range of um, machinery there in Saddle Dam number one. There are two Saddle Dams of course and those Saddle Dams are auxiliary dams to the Enlarged Cotter Dam and they will only fill up when the Enlarged Cotter Dam is actually full. You can see there Saddle Dam 1 and the excavation that's gone on there. Now this is Saddle Dam 2 which is far more advanced than Saddle Dam number 1. Uh, work's been going on here for quite some time as you can see down there in the, in the bed of the dam and they're going to be getting into some grouting of, the, um, of that dam in the next week or so. See there's quite a few guys working there on Saddle Dam number two that, and this broader shot gives you a bit more of a perspective on the location. And they're bringing in material from the quarry of course and the moxie trucks to form, form up the, the bed there of Saddle Dam number two. And that same work will go on in Saddle Dam number one. When, when Saddle Dam two is finished, they'll move over to number one and do similar work. It's an excavator there moving some material. And you can see the Cotter Dam in the background there, the water down, down below. There's a nice panning shot of Saddle Dam number two, if I'm allowed to say that. And this is the Crusher building which now has walls up and is well into commissioning or testing. There's a lot of equipment inside that, that Crusher building. Alright, we're back at Kel's Secret Lookout and we're looking down on the quarry there. Of course having a quarry on site where the construction is taking place is, is one of the great things about the Enlarged Cotter Dam as it means that material doesn't have to be trucked in from elsewhere and you know brought in on public roads so it's all sort of it's all internal this movement of this uh, this stone material from the quarry to the various locations around the enlarged Cotter Dam. There's another view there from Kel's secret lookout. The quarry's changed amazingly over the last few weeks of course there's been some blasts there which we've shown on previous monthly updates and, um, and things change so quickly. New roads go in and, and all sorts of things. There's a moxie truck leaving the quarry with plenty of material there. And we pull back from the quarry. You can see the crusher building over there on the right. Now we're looking towards the abutments. That's the left abutment. Of course, this is where the new Cotter Dam wall will go. Now that's on the right abutment there, looking over to the left abutment, and you can see a couple of uh, excavators there. They're tapping out the, the floor there down uh, to bring it to, to height. And there's a couple of drill rigs actually further down the hill working there. Looking over to the left abutment there, you can see a lot of work has gone on there. Stabilisation work and the shock creating, concreting of the um, of those uh, embankments there and you can see that excavator throwing some material over the wall down into the Cotter Riverbed where the, the diversion works took place and of course there's no one down there that's securely locked off you can see because of those big rocks falling down into the, um, the Cotter River uh, valley bed. Ah uh, this is amazing this excavator has been fitted up with a water cannon at a sort of a high pressure it's a mixture of air and water basically um, it's cleaning off the rock there and looking for any bolts 
in the rock that have to be addressed. It's incredibly high pressure, not something that you want to get too close to by any means. And I like this, I slowed this shot down because it looks a bit Jurassic Park, the way it lifts up its head and it's sort of snorting through its nose. Here's a couple of hot off the press shots, which I just filmed this morning. This is going to be the public viewing platform looking at the enlarged Cotter Dam wall construction. And they're just building it up there. It'll be a stepped platform. And of course, it'll have a lovely walking trail up from the Cotter Recreation Area, which is closed at the moment. And it will provide a great aspect looking over to the, the Cotter Dam. There are the three guys. There's Matt, Ben and Sean. And of course, there's the old Cotter Dam wall, so you can see the perspective that will have. That's all I've got for this month. We will see you next month with more progress from the enlarged Cotter Dam site.